So starting off, just get yourselves a little bit of space. Go through the normal stretches to get the body moving. So squatting down nice and low, stretching up nice and high. Full range of movements, what you're looking for, not loads and loads and loads of reps. Just full range of movement to stretch the body out to begin with. Just keep those going. Don't worry about how many reps of them you get done. As long as the body's getting movement, moving, that's all we need. So this is normally Ben's class, but we've swapped. He'll now be running the Saturday morning classes. I'll be running this, this class. And relax off there. What I want you to do is lunge in, twist over your forward knee, and just alternate that front leg. So swapping over which leg you're stepping into, twist it across. So look over each side, make sure you take your whole upper body across. Try to get rotation through the midsection, through the spine, everything like that. And relax off there. Next one, I'll show you from side on so it's a little easier. Feet hip the part. Slight bend in the knee. What I want you to do is roll forward, arch in the back, get as low as you can down to your toes, standing up into a Y shape. So you're just folding over, curling up as much as you can to the toes, up into that Y shape. Nice long, full range of movement. Those going. Spot on, don't rush these. You've got a horrible head rush if you're zooming up and zooming down. And then relax off there. You're gonna go arms out straight, palms pointed down. I want you to draw those hands back, turn your palms up to your draw level, and then just alternate that top hand. Keeping those going. Last little one of the warm up stretches, then we're going to the proper work. The way we're going to do this is each round is going to have two exercises. We'll go 30 seconds on exercise one, 30 seconds on exercise two, then 30 seconds rest, and we'll go three rounds of that in total, and that'll be one round out of the way. So relax off that. First round we've got the two movements. We've got high knees and walkouts. So what it is the first 30 seconds, we're we'll looking for high knees, working your arms and legs just as much as each other. I'll let you know when 30 seconds is up, and then you're gonna to look to walkouts. So legs nice and straight walking out, legs nice and straight walking in. So getting yourselves ready, starting on those high knees, make sure you've got plenty of space. You're not gonna end up booting anything around your house. And I'm just going to wait for the timer to line up. So in 10 seconds, we're going to get into the first round of high knees. And in. Three, two, one. Here we go, into those high knees. Work your arms and legs just as much as each other. Looking straight ahead. Keep going. Power, power, power the whole way through. That's halfway through the high knees. So you've got 15 seconds to go on these, keeping the effort nice and high. Stick with that tempo. And we're gonna to go to walkouts in three, two, one, into your walkouts. So straight in, nice quick transitions because the time is gonna keep running through into those walkouts.
a big change of tempo from that really explosive stuff to this more controlled stuff. Make sure you're stretching out those hamstrings, walking out, testing the flexibility on the way back in. Gonna have you relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax and catch your breath. You've got 30 seconds and then we're back to the high knees. Oh God, Slow. it's pouring down. Slow that breathing down, get your recovery. I'm doing mine half inside and half outside, and it's That's pouring right. down. Jump into the rain to get yourself refreshed. <laughs> and in three, two, one, explode into those high knees. Straight back in, same effort. Power, power, power. We need effort the whole way through. Past halfway. <clears throat> Gonna be going back to your walkouts in three, two, one. Back into those walkouts. So getting those legs straight, toes forward, walking out, walking all the way back in. Gonna be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. One more round to go. So one more lot of high knees and walkouts, and then we'll be moving on to the next section. Ten seconds. Final lot of high knees coming up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Final lot of high knees. Explode straight in. High tempo, high effort. Pumping those arms and legs just as much as each other. Just gone past halfway. Going for walkouts in three, two, one. Into those walkouts. Still keep these controlled. Don't rush them. It's the last lot of them you've got to worry about. Get those going halfway. Last time we got to worry about this section. Three, two, one, relax. Get your breath back, get your recovery. Next one we're gonna move on to is gonna be crisscross squats. What you're gonna do if this is drop down into a squat, stand up, cross the legs over, back to your positioning, just alternating that front leg. That'll be your first 30 seconds. Second 30 seconds is gonna be frog squats. So you squat down, straighten the legs, squat down, stand up. And crisscross squats coming up first. In three, Two, one, here we go. Squatting down, stand up, cross the legs, reset. Keep those going. Nice and light on your feet. Don't obsess about making sure you swap which legs in front and behind on the crisscross. As long as you get the movement, that's the important bit. Slow the tempo down for frog squats in three, Two, one, squatting down, straighten the leg, chest stays down, drop back to your squat, stand up. Get those going. Halfway. <clears throat> In three, Two, one, relax off there. First round gone. Crisscross squats will be coming up first. 
get your breath back, get your recovery, grab your drinks if you've got them with you. If not, quickly run and grab one, get one ready. Going into round two. Well, part two of round two. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go. Into those crisscross squats once again. Squatting down, just swapping those feet, one front, one back. Squat back down, swapping those feet again. Adding that little crisscross at the top of every squat, just to make it that bit more explosive. Keep you nice and light on your feet, you're halfway there. Three, two, one. Back into those frog squats, squatting down. Straighten the legs, squat back down, stand up. Squatting down, straighten the legs, dropping down, stand back up. Keep those going. Ten seconds. Keeping the effort, keeping the movement. For three, two, one, relax off there. One more round of those to go. Getting yourselves ready. On a lot of crisp, on a lot of frog squats, or we move on. And we'll be that final round in three, two, one, straight in, in we go. Move on to what's in three. Two, one, frog squats, set those feet, slow the tempo down, squat down, straighten the legs with chest low, drop back into your squat and stand up. Feel for those hamstrings screaming at you. Halfway. It's gonna be the end of round two, under 10 seconds time. Burn out those legs. For three, two, one, relax off there, get your breath. The next round we're going to look for, our first 30 seconds is going to be burpees. The fog standard, hands to the floor, feet back, feet forward, up into your star jump. And then our other half is going to be a plank. You can do that plank as a long arm, or you can do your plank as a short arm, whichever you prefer. So burpees with a plank. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And we're going into those burpees in three, two, one, regular burpees, straight in. Find a rhythm you can stick with. Always want to be working on seven to eight out of 10 effort level on your RPE scale. Halfway. And in three, two, one, dropping straight down into your plank. Can be long arm, can be short arm, straight in. Not gonna pause the timer at any point. So always going straight into the next round. So we need those quick transitions. Over halfway through it. Gonna be relaxing off in three, Two, one, relax and catch your breath. Slow that breathing down. First round of those out of the way, two more to go. Halfway through the recovery time. Get yourselves ready, it's gonna be burpees up first. In three, two, one, in we go, straight in, back into those burpees. Get your tempo sorted. 
Make sure you're still keeping control of your breathing. That's what gets you through these longer circuits. Having control over the breathing. Always deep breaths in through the nose, sharp breaths out through the mouth. Best yourself going the whole way through. 10 seconds left. Decide now if you're going long arm or short arm for your plank. And in three, two, one. Straight down into your plank. All that tension on the Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice. Two rounds down. One final round left. After this final round, we are going to get our longest rest break of the session because that will be the halfway point on our six rounds. But we'll worry about that when we get there. And let's get you ready into burpees in three, two, one. Here we go. Into those burpees. We're going to go slightly longer on both of these this round. Got your longest rest break coming up. So we're going to do the longest working round first. Get you through those. And add an extra 10 seconds to each part. Extra 10 seconds of burpees, extra 10 seconds on the plank. Push yourselves through it. Go to go into that plank in three, two, one. Drop down straight into that plank. Nice quick transitions. Breathing controlled. So there's going to be a 40 second plank in total. You have just got past halfway. Ten seconds left. Going to be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. So get your breath back, get your recovery. When we do it, we'll be going into side to side floor taps first. So that's where you step out, touch the floor, feet together, step out, touch the floor. Got to cover as much ground as you can. That'll be the first half. And the second half is going to be bicycle crunches, opposite elbow to the opposite knee. First, got that longer rest break. So we've actually just got halfway through it. So get back as much breath as you can, as much recovery as you can. And we are going to go into those side to side floor taps in about five seconds time. In three, two, one. Side to side floor taps. So step out, touch the floor, feet together, step out, touch the floor. Just try to cover as much distance as you can. Look for that really high lateral quickness. Halfway there. Keep the effort, keep the movement. And it's going to be bicycle crunches coming up next. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Straight into those bicycle crunches. Down to your mat as quick as you can. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Fully rotating that upper body. Make those obliques do the work. Ten seconds. You're going to be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. First round of those out of the way. Two more to go. Side to side floor taps will be coming up next. Keep that breathing. Make sure you're not taking big swigs of your drinks. Just little sips is all you want to keep you going. You just want to stay hydrated. You don't want all that water sitting in your stomach making yourself feel horrible. 
Getting ready to go again. In three, two, one. In we go, side to side floor tap, straight in. Nice and light on your feet, covering plenty of distance. Getting all the way to the floor, no cheating. That's halfway. Going to be moving on to those bicycle crunches. Nice quick transitions in three, two, one. Straight into bicycles. Straight onto the floor, opposite elbow, opposite knee, full rotations. Blitz those abs. Ten seconds till that rest break. Two out of three parts will be gone. In three, two, one. Relaxing off there. Get your breath back. Get your recovery. We've got one more round of that to get through. Just slow that breathing down. Get yourselves composed. And we'll be going in. Final round of these. Side to side floor taps coming up in about 10 seconds time. Getting ready. Get yourself set. Max effort. Three, two, one. And we go. Straight in. Really cover that ground. Plenty of movement. Breathing controlled. Final 10. Three, two, one. Straight onto those bicycles. Final lot. Final lot of bicycles. Quick transitions. Straight to the floor, straight into those twists. Elbow to knee. Opposite sides meeting in the middle. Rotating upper body. Fifteen seconds. Going to be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. This next round is going to be completely on the mat. All we're going to look for is bicycle crunches to start with, from lying out and across to hugging your knees. Working through those for 30 seconds. Then going to do a quick transition onto the mat into mountain climbers. So butterfly crunches and mountain climbers. There are your two movements. Starting with the butterfly crunches, and we're going to get you to go into those in three, two, one. And we go and flatten that cross, big breath out, hug the knees, and back to lying flat. We're two thirds of the way through, we're on to the last two rounds now, halfway. Quickly change to mountain climbers in three, two, one. Straight into mountain climbers. Up with that. Three, two, one, relax. One down, two to go. Blitzing off those abs. That's halfway on your time. That was ready. Get your breath. It's going to be butterfly crunches to start. And you're going to be going into those in three. Two and one, in we go. Butterfly crunches. Big breaths out, hugging those knees, squeeze that core. You want to try and empty your lungs as you get to the top of each rep to really squeeze into those abs. 
make sure they're doing all the work they can. Halfway there. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers, straight in. Nice quick transitions as always. Half one. Treat this like it's the first round. Keep that sort of effort level. Keep that mindset. Three, two, one. Relax off. 30 seconds to breathe and recover. And then we'll get you ready for that final round. Halfway there. Butterfly crunch is coming up to start. Final time you have to worry about them today. This is the last super core intensive round as well. And in three, two, one. Butterfly crunches, final time. Same rule, big exhales, squeezing the core, emptying the lungs at the top. Let's get going, it's still round one. That's what you've got to tell yourself. You've got to put that sort of effort level in. Really blitz that core, make it work to its maximum potential. And we're going to go on to mountain climbers in three, two, one. Mountain climbers next. Nice quick transitions as always. Halfway, keep it going, keep it going. Keep those feet going, nice high tempo. Gonna be relaxing off in three, two, one. Relax off there. Last round we've got, it's gonna be reverse lunge drives. So you're gonna step back into a lunge, drive your knee up, same on each side, working through those. After those, we're gonna go for squats into sumo squats. It's gonna be one full squat. Hop out into a sumo, hop into a normal, hop out into a sumo. So it's always one little hop, then change and start. Let's go for those reverse lunge drives first in three, two, one. Here we go. So step back, dip down, power on the knee. Step back, dip down, power on the knee. Put power into that knee. Big exhale on the drive. And in three, two, one. Go for that squat hop, sumo squat hop, back to your squat hop, back to your sumo squat hop. One of each, then change. Legs should be burning off these. They should feel absolutely horrible. Just trying to burn out the legs, hit those big lower body muscles. Three, two, one, relax. Back, get your recovery. Two rounds left in the entire class. That works out as two minutes of hard work and then you complete everything you need to get through. <clears throat> and reverse lunge drives coming up in three two one here we go reverse lunge drives Squat hops to sumo squat hops coming up in three, two, one. Here we go. One small squat jump, one small sumo squat jump, one small squat jump, one small sumo squat jump. 
Keep it rolling through those. Let the legs burn. More burn than you can get into your legs, really big lower body muscles, more calories it's going to take to repair them. 10 seconds to go. Keep the effort, keep the power. For three, two, one. Relax off there. One final round to get through. Let yourself breathe and recover. Let's get ready. Halfway. 10 seconds till your final round starts. Reverse lunges coming up first. Let's get you ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway there. And it's going to be that little squat hop to your sumo squat hop in three, two, one. And we straight into a final 30 seconds of work. Blitz everything you got left in your legs. Burn through them. One sumo, one regular, one sumo, one regular. Trying to stay nice and low still. Nice range of motion, halfway there. Burn out those legs. And in three, two, one. Relax off there. Get your breath back, guys. Get some recovery time in. Let us recover. Just going to stretch off the finish. How are you all feeling? Feel free to unmute. So let everyone get their breath back, get a bit of recovery time in. Hopefully, all your legs are in absolute agony and you feel knackered. That's what I was here for. So I'll let you catch your breath a little bit before we stretch off. All feeling all right? Yeah. Good, good. I feel like I haven't done squats in a very long time. <laughs> it does I feel like it might hurt. <laughs> They'll be burning tomorrow as well. When you wake up tomorrow and you just can't straighten your legs, you're like, ah, brilliant. Yeah. All right. So what we're doing, stretch down stretch down stuff. It's all maintenance stretching, so it's not going to improve your flexibility, unfortunately, but it'll keep the joints nice and healthy, muscles nice and healthy as well. Starting off, legs as straight as you can, drop the hips back, let your head hang down. Don't worry if you can't reach the floor, it's more important that your legs are straight than it is to get a really low one. And big breath out. Reach all the way up for the ceiling, hips forward, work your heels, taking a slight backwards bend. And relax off there. Onto the quads. And swap it over, exact same on the other side. Relax off there. I want you to hug both your arms out ahead of yourself. Dip your head, arch your upper back, push your shoulders away from yourself, draw your chest into your body. And then hug both your hands all the way round. Chest forward, shoulders back, trying to meet your elbows together behind your back. And then shoulders straight on across the body. Looking over the shoulder, you're stretching. And 
swap in, same on the other side. And then triceps, hand on the back of the opposite shoulder, pushing your elbow to follow your wrist. And swap in, exact same on the other side. Holding there, breathing through. And relax off completely there. <laughs> 